good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. I'd like to talk about how to insert checkboxes and tick boxes into Microsoft Word. Here I've set up three tables. First table, I've already set up tick boxes here, so that uh, my apologies, check boxes. So if I click in a box, I get a check. And again and again. If I untick, then I see that they are removed. Now, to be able to insert these boxes, what I need to do is to be able to see the developer tab up here in the tabs up in the ribbon area. To do that, I right click on the quick access toolbar and then I choose customize the ribbon. When I choose customize the ribbon over on the far right, I see that I need to put a tick in developer here. And when I click OK, there is the developer tab. Now when I use the developer tab, there is a group called controls. One of the uh, uh, control units is the checkbox content control. So what I can do is to use that control to create the checkboxes. So what I did was this. I inserted the insertion point where I wanted the control to be and then I simply click on it to place the box in there. Let's put another one in here and another one in here. Now you'll also notice that whilst I can put checks in there and untick them that there is a design mode here which enables me when I choose design mode to see the properties of all of the controls. I want to change these controls here from check boxes to ticks. I need to do that by going to the properties and down in the bottom of the properties the check symbol I can change. So when I change the check symbol I can insert just a tick outside of a box, no box at all, or a tick in a box. I'll use the tick in the box. So I choose that one and click OK. Now when I choose OK in this particular one, I click in it, but nothing happens. That's because I have to turn design mode off, which enables the check and tick boxes to be usable. So when I turn off design mode, I can now click in that one, and there is my tick. If I click away, if I click on that one, you remember I only changed the box in that particular control so these two are still the same but what I'm going to do is to change this one to a tick and no box just to see how it looks some people prefer just a tick and no surrounding box so in this case I'm going to turn on design mode go to properties and I'm going to say the check symbol I'm going to change to just a tick. And when I click OK, I'll leave the unchecked symbol as a box to show me that nothing has been uh, clicked or ticked. I'll now click OK, I'll turn off design mode, and now I see when I click away that that particular box could be toggled between a tick and a box with no tick. So I'm going to leave that one as a tick with no box. And this one, we will go to design mode and properties and we'll change the check symbol in this particular one uh, to uh, this, this square root sign. Uh, it, it, it looks like a tick, but it's... Uh, uh, it's just a bit different. Just to show you, you can put uh, different symbols into boxes. So we'll click OK. Click OK again. 
and there is that particular type of tick. Now I'll turn off design mode and when I untick it there it is there. So remember that the uh, developer tab is the tab that we use to do these particular actions. Remember that in the controls group you have the tick box. It can be a check box if you wish. It's just a matter of changing the properties once you've turned on design mode because until you turn design mode on the properties are not available. So as soon as you turn on design mode all the properties become editable via the properties uh, um, the properties window. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, any comments would be appreciated and of course we love thumbs up. Incidentally, on the web page in the description you'll see you can download this particular file uh, so that you can use it uh, down in here to just play about with the, um, with the concept until you get the knack of it because uh, when you know how to put tick boxes and check boxes etc into Word documents they become eminently more usable. Thank you so much for watching and we'll turn off design mode and there is my, there are my word tables uh, suitably uh, set up for checking and ticking in boxes. Bye for now.